Makers of Better Things for Better Living Through Chemistry presents The Cavalcade of America. Tonight's star, Susan Hayward. Tonight's story, Breakfast at Nancy's. A sharp shooting woman, prime first cousin to old Dan O'Boon. At 200 paces with a Kentucky rifle, she could plug out the eye of a possum or coon. Oh, breakfast at Nancy's, breakfast at Nancy's. Watch out for that there hoe cake, it's plum full of lead. Look out, Mr. Tory, or you'll wind up dead. In the northeast corner of Georgia, close to the Savannah River and the Carolina line, you'll find Hart County, named for Nancy Hart, cousin to Daniel Boone and kin to General Daniel Morgan, revolutionary hero. Before Hart County owned the courthouse, the Indians had named a little river for Nancy, War Woman Creek. Nancy's story is a legend in Georgia, and like most legends everywhere, her saga has been told in many, many versions. But all the tales of Nancy Hart begin at least like this. It's a summer evening about the year 1778, the third year of the Revolution. Nancy Hart, Mrs. Benjamin Hart, that is, Nancy is alone in her husband's farm cabin on the Broad River. Supper's almost ready. Suki! Oh, Suki! Morgan? You, Morgan? Children, it's supper time. Out for a bite, Mrs. Hart. Hey, Mrs. Hart. Who's there? Don't come any closer out there. I've got a gun. It's me, Mrs. Hart. Royston Tolliver. Tory old man Tolliver. Oh, come in. Come in. I you care, ma'am. You don't have to bar your door shut in an old friend's face. <laughs> don't I, though? Well, yes, I reckon you do at that. Can't be too careful. I'm sorry, Royston. I couldn't see you down the hill. There were things the way they are. Yes, with things the way they are. That's what I come to see you about. I've been sent to see you. Sort of a committee of one from your old neighbors. I'm not going to leave this farm, Roy. I'm not going to leave my home. But why? Everybody's safe up country but you... All your neighbors, all that ain't tourist scoundrels, that is. And how about you? Oh, ah, sure. I'm too old for them scallywags to bother with. <laughs> I don't know nothing they can steal. Now, look here, Nancy girl. Your friends have sent me to plead with you. No, I'm staying here. Right here. But your husband and Benjamin was Colonel Clark's militia where it belongs. And this is where I belong. But why? It ain't fair to Suki and Morgan. I need them with me. Mr. Tolliver. Yes, ma'am. Can I trust you, Roy? Why? Folks around here have been doing just that for nigh on to 70 years. I'm no barn burning Tory traitor, if that's what you mean. I guess I'll be getting along. Wait a minute. Mr. Tolliver, I'm staying on here for a purpose. I'm not just stubborn. So? Colonel Clark up north has to keep in touch somehow with the other troops down to the south of here. He has to send couriers and they have to rest somewhere. But this is all Tory country now. There's nobody but Tories left. And... Oh, I see. I see. You hide him out, Clark's messenger. Uh -huh. You're a brave woman, Nancy. No. I just plumb hate all Tories. Like Wilkie Bowman? Like Wilkie Bowman, especially. Most especially. Uh, he's the head man around here now. Now that all the decent folks are gone, and he swears he'll make you his wife yet. He ain't never give up. Well, he's a good many years and two children too late. Taste two children. Did you see them? They were playing down by the old well with that conch shell I gave you, the Florida shell. They weren't blowing on it. I told Morgan oh, never to... sucks. They was just pretending. Morgan! Oh, Morgan! Oh, here to come now. Suki, Morgan, did you hear me calling you? Oh, we came running, Ma. Don't you believe him, Mother? He wouldn't put the conch shell back. He made me chase him all over the woodlot. Morgan Boone, I don't want you to touch that shell again. 
You hear? But you taught me to blow it. Morgan. Yes, Ma. Now say howdy to Mr. Tolliver here. Howdy, howdy Mr. Mr. Tolliver. Evening, children. Well, ma'am, mum's the word with Royston Tolliver. And do be careful. Well, I'll be moving along. Nonsense. You're going to stay to supper. Can't I persuade you? Persuade me? Why, ma'am, anybody in North Georgia who'd refuse an invite to eat Nancy Hart's cooking, why, he'd be as crazy as King George III. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, set then. And you, Morgan Boone Hart. Yes, Ma. You go wash your hands. They're filthy black. Get now. Get. <laughs> A daughter named Suki, a son named Morgan, then a passel more. She sang him to sleep, singing Barbary Island, rocking in a rocker on the pine wood floor. Oh, night fall at Nancy's, night fall at Nancy's, all alone by the broad river shore. All alone by the broad river The hangman's tree, Ma. Please, Ma. Him and his old hangman. Mother, sing, Lord Randall. No, no more now. It's bedtime. It seems to me you two are getting mighty old to be sung to. But you sing so beautiful, Mother. <laughs> you said I ought to learn how to. Ah, oh, Suki can't sing. No more than an old frog. She sounds like the conkhorn. Morgan, like I told you, I want you to leave that conch shell be. Leave it stay right where it is on the shelf of the well, you hear? Gosh, what's so special about that old horn? I can blow it, but it don't blow good. Maybe I'll tell you someday soon. But there's one thing I want to tell you now. And over and over. I hope you knew it already in your blood and in your bones. You, Morgan. Oh, gee, what? You've got good blood in you, son. You're kin to Colonel Daniel Morgan, him that fought at Quebec and at Saratoga. And to Dan O'Boone, who's gone on west. Never be afraid, son. I ain't never been, Ma. Don't you be. And Suki? I'm not afraid, Mother. Don't you be. There's nothing to be afraid of, ever, if you're good and sensible and not afraid. There are things I might have to ask you to do, Suki. Hard things. And maybe soon. And the first thing is, if you're upstairs in bed and you hear noises down here, you stay up there. Listen, I call you. Listen. What's that? Just a hoot owl. I must be sure. Up to bed with you, children. Run now. I said run. And stay there. Good night, Ma. What are you putting the lamp out for? You get to bed. And remember what I said. Oh, dear God, let it be Ben this time. Let it be Ben. Quick, ma'am. Let me inside. Who are you? Cliff Elders. Sergeant Cliff Elders. Georgia Militia. Courier for Colonel Clark with dispatches. They're after me, ma'am. Have you seen my husband? Is he still alive? Alive and kicking not three hours ago. But, ma'am, there's no time for questions. Ben said you had a place to hide me here. Yes, I do. Ben fixed it up before he left. There's a fourth bottom to the wood bin by the fireplace there. And a little room below, hollowed out in the dirt. Ben dug it about four feet down. Good. Now, look, I'll have to talk fast. Colonel Clark has sent a scouting party south. Sort of a feeler. Your husband's in command. I rode ahead of him to look for any Tory band. Well, I found one. Three armed riders up by the fort near Dewey Rose. Uh-huh. I outrode them. I doubled back here. I tethered my mare in a barn up the road, and I hope she's well hid. Then I started hooting like an owl, as Ben said to do great jump in Jehoshaphat. I thought I'd have to hoot all night before the lamp went out. You say there's a scouting party in here? Yes, ma'am. And then? Your husband planned to camp real close, just above the fork. He wanted to see, and I can't blame him, but for heaven's sake, ma'am, hide me. Over here. In with you. Under the floor. You'll have to sit up. It's not big enough to lay down in, but there's air enough. I see it. Double bottom to it. Thank you, ma'am. Sergeant Elbert. Can you hear me down there? Just barely, ma'am. There's horsemen coming up the hill. Stay quiet. Don't move at all. I'll do that, ma'am. Can't move anyway. Oh. 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 Who's there? Never mind who's here. Open up. Open up or we'll 
to blow the hinges off this door. Wilkie Bone. And if it isn't my own sweetheart, Miss Nancy Morgan. My name is Nancy Hart. Has been for 12 years. What do you want here? Why, just a little talk, Nancy, darling, for old times' sake. About two things. Number one, your late husband, Benjamin Hart, right into the crowd. Late husband? I had the pleasure of shooting him through the head just an hour ago. I don't believe you. Get out. Get out of here. We haven't begun our little talk, Nancy. Subject number two. A rebel trooper you're concealing in this house. Where is he? We want him. I said we want him. Come in, man. How many slinking snakes does it take to handle one lone woman? Why, Nan, there are only three of us. Ruth Benton. Cut you to the lady, Ruth. Ruth Benton. Convicted horse thief and jailbird wanted in Carolina across the river. A pleasure, ma'am. My, my, Wilkie, she's got a tongue, this one. I found that out long years ago. Always liked it in her. Who's your other bootlicker, Bowman? Oh, here, he's a stranger in these parts, my dear. Name of Sam Saddle. Sad Sam, we call him. Make a leg, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> well trained, isn't he? <laughs> like an ape. Sheriff, after you too, Sam? How did she know that? Her eyes as sharp as her tongue. Now, Nan, darling, the trooper. We know he's here. Where is he? All right. We have plenty of time. How's about a little drink for visiting gentlemen? Jug's on the table. You saw it, I reckon. I did. Step right up, friend. For you, Ruth? Oh. Sam, you old dog? There. <laughs> and now you, Nancy, love. Surely you'll drink with us for old times, sake. I will. I'll take a swig or two. Well, you will? Good. Here, then. I'll take the first swig to General George Washington in the Continental Congress. So. And the rest of the mug, all of it, Wilkie Bowman, goes right in your face. <laughs> Nancy Hart was a true-hearted woman. General Dan Morgan was a kissing king. She hated Tories. She hated Redcoats. She hated Wilkie Bowman like she hated sin. Oh, nighttime at Nancy's, moon up at Nancy's. The trooper, he's a-hiding neath the old wood bin. The trooper, he is hidden, but the Tory band is Biden. Watch out there, Nancy, they won't give in. You are listening to The Cavalcade of America, starring Susan Hayward. Sponsored by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware. Makers of better things for better living through chemistry. We continue the DuPont Cavalcade of America. Starring Susan Hayward as Nancy Hart in Breakfast at Nancy's. Nancy Hart was a home-loving woman. She stayed in her cabin by the broad river shore. When other folks ran from the barn burning Tory, she stuck by her guns of which she had four. Oh, midnight at Nancy's, moon up at Nancy's, and Wilkie Bowman's prowling through the cabins every door. Looking for the soldier... Through the cabins every door. Well, you three lobster lovers. Well, you've looked everywhere. You've routed my children out of their beds and you've sent them to crying. You've turned my house upside down and there's no trooper here. What now? We saw him right in here, almost to your door. He's here. Sooner or later, he'll pop out of somewhere. 
We'll stay the night, dear Nancy, for old time's sake. Hmm? Once you came a courting, and now you come a killing. I don't want you either way. <laughs> you haven't lost your looks, Nan. No, your vile temper. Nevertheless, we'll accept the hospitality of the widow heart for the night. Uh, look here, Mr. Bowman, I got an idea. You, Sam? What is it? The wood bin there. We ain't never looked in the wood box. <laughs> Too obvious. Obvious? Better try, Bowman. Yes, very well. I'll look. I thought so, nothing. Not even any wood. I'm sorry, Mr. Bowman. Nancy here's smarter than a whip. I found that out long ago. You'll find it out again. And now I'm going up to my children, and I'm going to stay with them. I got a good, strong billet of wood up there, Wilkie Bowman, and the stairway's narrow. And if I hear one footstep creak on that stair, whoever that foot belongs to, he's going to get himself a busted head. My dear Nancy, you may be sure I shall respect your matronly sensibility, and so shall these gentlemen. You and your gentlemen can sleep on the floor like the pigs you are. I'll have to clean up tomorrow anyway. Good night. Oh, there's another jug in the cupboard. Drink up. Logan, Suki, are you awake? Yes, Mother. Sure, Ma. Have they gone? No, they won't go, not till after dawn. Children, you remember what I said about not being afraid? Well, who's scared? Now listen to me very careful. These bad men will wake up drunk and hungry. They want me to get breakfast for them. I'll say I will, but I'll say I need water. I'll send you, Morgan, to get the water. I don't think they're watching. Well, should I get the water? No. You go down to the well. And then you take that conch horn and blow on it. Keep blowing on it. You can blow on it hard, son. Oh, I sure can. I can make a big noise. You make it. And keep on making it. It's a signal to your father. If... Well, it's a signal to your father, I hope. we have fixed it that way. Now, you, Suki. Yes? I'll send you out with Morgan. But don't you go down to the well. No, Mother. What'll I do? You must be brave, too, Suki. These men have left their rifles against the window on the stable side downstairs. The window's open. Now, when you go out with Morgan, you sneak around by that window. And when you get a chance, you reach in and get one of them guns. Can you do it, Suki? Yes, Mother. I'll be very quiet. Good. Bring the gun around to the kitchen and hide behind the door outside there. And if I yell, Suki, quiet, Mother. Yes, child. If I yell, Suki, you push open that kitchen door and hand me the gun. Can you do it, Suki? Yes, Mother. I think you can. And now let's say our prayers. We need help, and we need it bad. All right, now, quiet like. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our, Our Father, Father which, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Do you expect me to get you food to eat? Why, yes, my love of old. Just for the three of us, Ruth here and me and you. And your brats are there about, of course. My children are in the kitchen. What happened to that ugly monster? The Sam Saddle? Why, uh, sad Sam has been much taken in liquor, I'm afraid. He went to sleep at last in the wood bin. In the wood bin? Yeah. He had it on his mind. Let him rest in peace, but let us eat. I'm told you're a fine cook these days. I am. Well, good. I'm hungry. Breakfast, widow heart. Breakfast. I, uh, I'll need water. I'll send the children for it. Oh, no, no. Roof here. Be glad to, Bridge. Roof, get up. Well, yeah, what? Well, well, Go get some want? water for the lady. Come on. Well, get your own water. I want to sleep. The children will get the water. They over do. I'll fetch them. Morgan. Suki. 
You. Ben, get up. Hey, what you doing? Quit kicking. Get up. We got work to do. That messenger from the rebel general is somewhere in this house. Now, we'll eat first, then we'll set fire to the place. Fire? Fire? Quiet, you old. The children have gone for the water. We'll have breakfast shortly. No, your Tory friends have left us little in the way of victuals. You want water? Oh, I see Mr. Benton's pulled himself together. Well, I'll go get water. Show me where's the water. I'll go get water. That will be necessary. Morgan and Suki are used to... to lending a hand. They're very fine children. To think they should have lost their dear father. And they're so young, too. I don't believe you. I've never believed them. Finn's alive. I know it. Bowman, do you hear a horn? Ruth, get drunk. I haven't. I do hear a horn. In the wood bin. Listen, there's somebody in the wood bin. Sam Saddle's in there. He sure is in a fuss. Suki! Suki, child, now's the time! Please don't be afraid, Mother. Here it is. What's this? Wilkie, she's got a gun. Stand back, Wilkie Bowman. Get back there, Benton. Don't you go near that fireplace. Stay away from that wood box. She's got one of our rifles. The brat just to pour it through the window. Sergeant Elvis, if you can hear me, stay still. Stay right where you are. So that's where he was. Under the wood box. Clever, clever Nancy. <laughs> Nancy with my rifle. Nancy pointing my rifle at my heart. You can't pull the trigger, Nancy. Stand back, Wilkie. I don't want to kill you. Of course you don't. You love me, Nancy Morgan. Stand back. You've always loved me. When both of us were young, you loved me. Give me that gun. I drove you back then. I'd have none of you. None of you. I clawed your face. I bear a mark still. Look at it. On my face. In my heart. But you love me. And you'll not pull that trigger. I'll move so quietly. You can't pull the trigger, Nancy. You can't. No, you can't. He killed my husband. No, 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 ma'am. No, no. He was just boasting. Your husband's still alive. Don't let him be hard on me. Don't let him be... They're coming now. They're coming. They heard the signal. They heard the horn. Speak up for me, man. Speak up for me. I've done you no harm. All right. Do this for me, then. Get Bowen's body out of my sight. Get him out of here. I'll do it, ma'am. I'll do it. Nancy. Are you here, Nancy? Ben. Oh, Ben. Nancy. Oh, Ben, it's been so long. So long. I tried to get back here. I've wanted so to get back. He said he'd killed you, Ben. But I never believed it. Never. Me killed? What? Do I look it? The sergeant said you were all right. Sergeant Elbrus, where is he? In the wood box. I was. Under the wood box. Then I spent the night in drunken, dissolute Tory company. The big lummock snored all night. I had to fight my way out. <laughs> Man, am I hungry. <laughs> Cliff, I'm sure my wife here can provide us all with breakfast. How about it, Nancy? It's on the fire, Dan, in the kitchen. Suki, Morgan, come help your mother. Help me again, children. With breakfast. Come on. Oh, Nancy Hart was a false square woman Down here in Georgia, we honor her name In to Boone and kin to Morgan She honors Georgia with her everlasting fame Oh, breakfast at Nancy's, sun up at Nancy's, oh, cake and honeycomb, and fresh pumpkin pie. Hot as the sun beat, cool as the moonbeam, light as the laughter that gleams in her eye. So here's to Nancy Hart. Thanks to Susan Hayward and the Cavalcade players for tonight's story. 
Breakfast at Nancy. Next week, the DuPont Cavalcade will present The Devil's Staircase, the exciting story of the weird mystery buried deep within the Louisiana swamplands. Our star, Ray Milland. Be sure to listen. Tonight's DuPont Cavalcade, Breakfast at Nancy's, was written by George H. Faulkner and based on material from the book The Savannah by Thomas L. Stokes, a volume in the Rivers of America series published by Reinhardt and Company. The music for Cavalcade was composed by Arden Cornwell, conducted by Donald Morris. The program was directed by John Zoller. Featured in the cast with Susan Hayward as Nancy, you heard Stotts Cotsworth as Bowman and Gordon Dilworth as the folk singer. Miss Hayward is currently starring in the 20th Century Fox production with a song in my heart. This is Cy Harris speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time when disaster strikes the country, as it so recently did in the southern states, the Red Cross works day and night to help those in need. Do your part by giving to the Red Cross Fund. Don't forget next week, our star, Ray Milan. The DuPont Cavalcade of America comes to you from the Velasco Theater in New York and is sponsored by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. Chemistry.